even the tomatoes down here on the end where I don't have really good soil uh, have topped the pole and you can see them all starting to some of these poles are not quite as tall as the others but you can see that I've got to redirect some of these down here so we won't get hit in the head when we walk through the row we'll just swing this over to this one and we'll swing all those over to that one and we'll tie it off with a little piece of nylon hose but this is almost eye level it does make them easy to pick though doesn't it anyway that's a little up update definitely getting bushy at the top which is good I'm gonna look for hornworms today because if they're gonna be out here I should see the damage I found a little frass on this tomato plant right here then I found a fairly ripe tomato that had been freshly chewed off and that I had to get my little four foot ladder for people who don't have tall plants it is a problem to have to get a ladder to get up to the top but uh, see how I position the ladder I know my roots are going but underneath that ladder in the middle when I weigh 260 pounds when I get on this ladder these legs could go down there especially the smaller ones and cut a root in half don't want that anyway while I was picking cherry tomatoes I just put a mark on here to let me know something's going on up here Oops, it fell off. There was a little green one that was half eaten. Anyway, I am going to study this a little bit and get back with you because there was an eaten one down on the bottom and a green one up here. The one on the bottom was fresh, the one up here was old, so he might have left from being up here. You can definitely think it's time for these things to go from here over to the next pole, wouldn't you think? Alright, I'll be back with you if I find that hornworm. I think this is a fresh one eating that fairly ripe tomato. And uh, maybe the birds haven't got them. Well, the plant down there by the ladder, I can't find him. I'll probably go back and look again. This is another one that I'd seen something on. And see that little piece of frass right there? It is hard to see what you're aiming at with this camera with the sun on it. Alright, that little piece of frass means I've got a hornworm. That little black dot. It's all dried up. And what I look for is chewed leaves or little green tomatoes half chewed in half. Especially if they're fresh. Now you can see some damage on these leaves. They're not perfect. You can see a lot of damage on that leaf. A lot of damage on that leaf. All those up there are pretty. So he didn't go up. But yet there's a lot of eating here. So he must have gone down. And as you come down this plant. You can see this little tomato here has been eaten halfway through they're really hard to find and after you look for them a while and you see some they get easier to find but they're pretty much the same color as the leaves and the stem has anybody seen that caterpillar sitting right in front of that camera limb? that's where he is he's been on there a while they get a little bit bigger than that but uh, that's the little critter and he got a lot of little feet and he fell off on his own he didn't have any little white tic-tac looking things on his back so he's gonna get stepped on I really should put up a tray for the uh, birds to eat him in fact I think I'll go do that now and come back and get him once you cut that one off there you need to uh, take off that piece if I can do this with one hand, I take out my little pin and put an X right there, and I took one off of it. That doesn't mean there isn't another one, but that one's gone. 
I know this is low light, but I want to show you. I came in here to get a little tray or something to put in the garden to put these uh, hornworms in. And right here is the stuff that was on him when I laid him down there. And a friend of mine just came up and we talked at the, th at the road in, right in front of this uh, boathouse. And he wanted to eat a couple of my figs. I said, eat all you want. The birds are getting them all. And he hadn't eaten one in 40 years. And he went, God, that is sweet. God brings back memories. So that was probably five minutes. I walked back in there and no hornworm. He's not on the floor. He's not anywhere on this piece of equipment. They don't move that fast. And the only thing I can figure is the bird saw him and got him. Because we do have birds, the catbirds are working the garden all day long, and the cardinal's in here about half as much time. But that's a mystery to me, where he's gone. I thought maybe this watering can was green he got on that, but there's no way in five minutes he could have got out the garage. Mystery. Well, even a blind man could find this plant to have a problem with hornworms. Look at the defoliation. I've walked by these things and walked by these things. And this didn't happen in the last day. And somehow I didn't see this. And I've been fooling with this plant for five minutes. And there's no hornworm on here that I can see. I think that stem right there broke off. Generally hornworms don't take a whole stem off. That I don't quite understand. But those up there... Pull it around here. Those up there are defoliated. And the hornworm's the only thing I know it can do that. And he's not on here. There were some pellets on here, but they were real light gray. And being light gray, uh, that means they've been on here a long time. And he may have finished his work and dropped to the ground to start to cycle over, or a bird got him. But I don't see him on this plant. Just thought I'd let you know what they look like in case you've had them look like that. And I study these things all the time, and I miss this one. I don't really understand why all these branches are cut in half. I mean, it looks like somebody came in here with a pair of snippers and cut, the, cut them off. That one looks actually broken. Cut, uh, corn uh, hornworms don't generally do that. They just eat tomatoes and eat leaves. Anyway, that's all I got on them for today. Can't find any more.